How's it going everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to withdraw money from your Binance using your iPhones. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple, and no matter what platform you guys are on, be it um, your Android devices or your iPhones, and whatever version of Binance you may be using, like the website or the application itself, the steps actually remain the same. So I'll be showing you how to withdraw cryptocurrency or any type of currency, like your money or whatever from Binance, and essentially, essentially cashing it in. So the first step that we need to take is we want to make sure that we're logged into our Binance account. And if you guys are using the application, application on your phone, like I'm showing right here, you simply would want to open it. So the steps that we need to take, step one is to log into our Binance app. And then from the home screen, you want to tap on the spot tab, as you can see here. So basically just follow this path here. So you want to click on wallets, click on spot, and then right below um, uh, spot, there should be an option to withdraw. So it goes to that saying that you want to click on that. And then the app will actually let you choose what type of cryptocurrency that you want to withdraw. So this can be Bitcoin or Dogecoin or Ethereum or whatever. But in this case, we'll be uh, using Bitcoin. So once we've selected the cryptocurrency that we want to withdraw, we're going to click on send via a crypto network. So we'll essentially be sending this to a wallet address or to, to a bank account that we are that we connected our Binance account to. So you want to simply click on this. And then you want to paste the address that you want to withdraw from and then select the network that you want to send it to. So here's an example. There's the BNB Smart Chain or BEP20, BNB Beacon Chain, BEP, BEP2, and so on. So basically just select the network that we want to send our cryptocurrency to. And then once we've made our selection for the network, we want to input the uh, amount that we actually want to withdraw. Now I should note that uh, depending on the type of currency that you're trying to withdraw, you don't you don't want to just choose um, any random network that has the cheapest um, transfer fee, as not everything is compatible. It even reads so here that you should not select the cheapest fee option. Select one that is compatible with the external platform. For example, um, you can only send ERC20 tokens to another ERC20 address. So if uh, the network addresses have to be corresponding, or I should say um, the same, so uh so the transfer could actually take place so you want to make sure that they match so if you were to withdraw bitcoin you want to send it to another bitcoin network or something like let's say um you want to send your bitcoin to uh your connected bank account then you want to make sure that your bank account has a uh, bitcoin network or crypto network i should say so once you've made your selection and you've uh entered the amount that you want to withdraw simply review the details so, like I said, you just want to make sure that you've reviewed all the details and once everything seems to be in order, uh, the app will actually prompt you for the, or I should say, um, to confirm the transaction again, as you can see here. So, um, once everything's good to go, simply hit confirm and you'll be sending, or I should say, withdrawing the cryptocurrency and transferring it to your selected desti destination. Also, I should note that there are some cases where um, the application would ask you for a 2FA um, verification process, and this is so uh, this is just so that um, your account doesn't get compromised, and you want you want to make sure that everything's secure. So yeah, that's how you guys do it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out, and if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guides like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all of that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.